Hi, this is Jessica Stacey today and this video is going to be a DIY video on how to make a simple collar. Okay, so for my simple collar I've gone for 14 centimeters long and 44 centimeters wide. I've just marked out where the 14 centimeters long is going to be and then the 44 centimeters wide is going to be. So it's just about here to here and then from the top to about here. So I'm just going to cut out my piece out because I've added in the seam allowance as well. So I'm just going to cut that out. I've been wanting to do another DIY video and I will do another video hopefully on collars because I'm supposed to be making top of shirt collars for uni and I'm actually not very well so, so I'm going to be practicing that in my flat. <laughs> I measured from here because this is like the edge of the fabric and I don't really want that whilst I'm sewing. Maybe because I'm picky. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut that bit off. I'll just take the other pins out because I don't need those either. So this is my piece of fabric that I've got for my simple collar. and. So this is the one side and this is the other side and you can't really see the difference on camera but when I look at it myself I can tell which is the right and wrong side of the fabric. So you want the right sides of the fabric together so when you turn it inside out it will be the right way around. So I'm just folding the right sides together now when I fold it I should be using an iron but considering the fact that I'm in my room and I don't use an iron in my room, I use it in the living room area. So I'm just going to sew it on my sewing machine and I've added 2 centimeter seam allowance. So even though I've put 14 centimeters long and 44 centimeters wide it would actually be 10 centimeters long and 40 centimeters wide once it's all sewn up together. So I'm just going to sew along the top here and down this way as well. So I've just sewn along this way two centimetres across and then along here two centimetres as well and I've just left that bit out so I can cut around there. So I'm just turning it inside out so you can see what it will look like when it's sewn together. If you want the corners really in the right place you might need to use a pencil or something like that but it probably will be better once you've cut around the corners. But you can kind of see what it will look like. You wouldn't wear it with a top that's a v-neck. You want to wear it with a top that comes up to here. So you don't have any skin showing underneath because it just doesn't look right at all. Well, I don't think so anyway. So yeah, that's the collar. And I'll just finish sewing it. So now I'm just going to cut around the edges. And 
I've got this bit here left open so I'm going to need to turn that like that before I sew it together. So I'm going to need to turn it inside out first like I showed you before just so I can do that properly. Okay so I've turned it inside out so now I need to sort this bit out. So I'm just going to fold it two centimetres inside. I've pinned along here so I can sew it on the sewing machine. So I'm just going to sew that now. across here and you won't see that once I finish the collar because I'm going to add some lace onto it. I think what I'm actually going to do is go in to my kitchen and iron it. So I'm going to take my Mac into the kitchen so I can iron this and video it at the same time. Okay so I'm just going to iron my collar that I'm making so I can actually finish sewing it properly. So I've added some blue lace to the bottom. So it will actually be at the back of the collar and then I'm going to add some blue lace along here as well. So once I've sewn along the top part here I'm going to fold it in half and then sew on there as well so it just have that little edge on the collar just to add a little bit of colour. So it's not just like greys, black and orange in this kind of fabric. So I'm just going to sew that together and I will show you as I go along on my sewing machine. If you can see what I'm doing that is.
have my first DIY simple collar. So here I have my first DIY simple collar and as I've said earlier in this video you'd want to wear it with a top or shirt that covers your neck so it's not showing any skin underneath here. So this one, the top that I'm wearing today wouldn't actually be the right kind of top to wear with this collar that I've made. So as you can see I have sewn a hook and eye here to secure it into place. So I'm just going to take that off and put it on to show you even though what I'm wearing isn't the right kind of thing to wear with it. Hope you like watching this video on how to make a simple collar and hopefully I shall make more of these in the, my upcoming videos. So thank you for watching this video and if you click the link up here you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!